How are you doing everybody? Welcome to another part of learning OpenCV from scratch and today we are going to learn by creating something new. So we are going to detect for faces in the image or by using real webcam and we are going to detect for faces in the frame. Alright, so without wasting more time, let's just get into the video. So keeping in mind that you have to install OpenCV obviously. So you can simply install OpenCV by saying pip install OpenCV-Python. Once you run this command, it is going to install OpenCV in your PC. So once you have installed OpenCV, you just have to open your file explorer based on you use Linux, Mac OS or Windows. So in this case, it's this PC. So once you have opened the explorer, you have to search for Har Cascade. All right, so if you search for Har Cascade, you will find uh, so many files. You just open the location of the files. Then you will find a lot of XML files. But the file which we are going to use is this Har Cascade frontal face alt.xml or alt2.xml. So in this case, I'm going to use alt2.xml. So just copy and paste the file to whatever working directory you are going to create your Python file. So in this case, I have, I'm have i going to create new part 5 Python file. So I have to copy in the same directory. All right, so once you have done that, let's just start the coding. You can use Visual Studio, you can use Spider or Sublime, whatever you want to. Okay, so first of all, let's just start by importing CV2. And then we, have, we will create our cascade classifier. So we will say, we will create a variable called cascade. You can name it whatever you want. Then you have to say, you have to use cascade cascade classifier okay so in that you just have to pass in the file name in this case it's this one let's just copy all and just paste it over here okay so once you have do that then you should your code should some look something like this so first of all we are going to detect four faces in this image i have downloaded this image from shutterstock so uh, again i will just copy the image to the same directory i am working with and now uh, we will read the image so we'll say img equals to cv2 dot imread and the image name is test.jpg and now let's just first try showing the image to the user so that we can confirm that everything is working fine so we can show the image by using imshow function by saying cv2.imshow and passing in the window name and then image variable and then we will check if cv 2wait key 0 is equal to 27 if the user presses escape key then we will say cv 2 destroy all the windows and we will break out of the loop Let's just try this and try to run this if everything was working fine or not. Okay, so it is showing the image. So it means everything is working fine. So now we will just detect for faces in this image, which is IMG. So first step you have to do is just convert this image to grayscale. So let's say gray. Okay, gray is equals to cv2.cvt color. Okay, so we will use cvt color function. If you want to know more about these functions like imrate, cvt color, imshow or wait key, you can consider watching previous four parts in this series or playlist. I will link the playlist in down description. Okay, so cvt color, it requires two parameters. One is image which you want to convert to grayscale and another is color code. In this case, it's bgr to gray. Okay, so if we now try to show this gray image, then you can see that it is converted to grayscale. So first step has been completed. Now we just have to detect four faces. So we will say um, we will create another variable faces is equals to and we will use this cascade object. Okay. So we will say cascade and in that there is a function called detect multi scale. Detect multi scale and it requires certain arguments. First is obviously gray image which we have already created gray and then and then scale factor and minimum neighbors. Let's just uh, currently type 1.1 and minimum neighbors to three. So if you want to know more about scale factor and minimum neighbors, I will link down stack overflow answer. Uh, actually, these just values you have to work with. 1.1 um, and 3 are really optimized values. You you can use like pretty much it anywhere. So these values uh, you can choose from 1.05 up to I guess 1.4. These are optimal values and this minimum neighbors from 3 to 6. So we will just work with it later if our results don't look better. So currently this has uh, this faces has tuple of all the detected faces. Let's just try to print this faces and then we will draw a rectangle on the image. So let's try to run this and okay. So if I press escape key, then you can see it has a lot of coordinates. So it means uh, it is the list of all the coordinate of the faces which it has detected in the frame. Okay, so it is a lot of to speak. So now let's just draw the faces by using iteration. So we'll, we'll say for x comma y comma w comma h in faces. So it will going to iterate in the faces and it will going to take x y w h for us. And we'll say cv2 dot rectangle and we'll draw rectangle on obviously our original image and we'll change gray back to image. So the starting coordinates will be x comma y and the ending coordinates will be x plus w which is width and y plus h which is height and then color let's say b g 
r let's just draw it in red and then thickness let's just set it to 2 so now if i save this and run this then you can see it has detected all the faces in the frame pretty much all the faces so 1.1 and 3 are working perfectly fine in this case so now let's just move one step further and now try to detect four faces in the real time webcam let me just change the code wherever it is required and in this case you would require one instead of zero i have already explained this in part one so now we will uh, read the save to dot video capture function and we will use video capture in order to read from our webcam and now we will read for and now we we have frame and this time we will change frame to grayscale not img and we will show frame and draw rectangle on frame let's save this and now if i try to run this okay so it has live feed from the camera and it can now detect four faces okay so once again i have downloaded one image from shutterstock and try to run this then you can see it has uh, detected kind of all the faces from the frame all right so i guess i should stop this video right here and i guess you should have learned something new today and if you learned something new today make sure you help me by giving this video a thumb up and subscribing to my channel i'll see you in the next part